Hey guys, how's it going? Superfly Kev here, and welcome to Alien Isolation. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer. Ooh, visual glitches. Uh, one, uh, one little disclaimer. I did play this game when it first came out, but the problem is that when I played it, I played it in a room full of people, and we were handing the control off um, to each other because we used to do these horror game nights with uh, with friends, where we used to basically see, you know, how far we used to get. We did Outlast. Um, we did other games. I think we did Amnesia as well. Um, but the problem is that when you play a horror game in front in a room full of people, you don't get the same atmosphere, and as well as that, you don't remember most of the stuff because I wasn't playing most of it. They would just give me the control, and then um, I would keep playing until basically I either I died or whatever. But that being said, we're going to start the game on hard because it says it down there is the recommended way to play challenging and terrifying and that's what we want from this playthrough we want a challenging and terrifying playthrough so that being said i'm going to turn the gamma all the way up so like that um you guys can see and here we go and if you guys haven't seen alien i highly recommend you guys watch the 1979 film because it's a prequel to this game and it's a fantastic horror film uh, overall, it's probably one of the best ever made, so you definitely want to check it out if you've never seen the movie. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew, Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. I said, if you haven't watched Alien, you have to watch it. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know facility. what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Why are these character models so sweaty? 
everybody is so like glossy looking. Okay, we just woke up from hypersleep. Okay. Oh, and we have no pants on. All right. So that's probably our first objective, right? To get pants. All right, so we got Samuels um, signed in. This is for me, Verlaine. Right. Looks like her kids. Oh. oh no, I interrupted it. Oh no. Oh shit, whatever. I hope she's not mad. And we got uh Taylor. And she likes sumo wrestlers, and then we have uh Connor. And this one doesn't have a person. Use Oh, that closes all of them. Okay. How come I'm not wearing my slippers? Where my feet go? Okay, so we signed in. Okay, well, for some reason I can't see my body. Not anymore, at least. All right, so our objective is to get dressed. So who do these beds belong to? So I guess if you don't want to go to hyper sleep, I guess you can go to normal sleep. Alright, let's check this terminal. Oh. I like this whole retro tech. You know, it kind of looks like a, a computer back from the 70s. This is how computers used to look like back in the day. I just missed you. Verlaine, you on the lookout for a naval officer? I have a friend that just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story. The Mega Corps undercut him and picked up all of his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for the smaller companies. And I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay though. Dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out Sevastopol Station. What a shithole. Still. I hear Whaling Yutani pay well. Well, good luck to you. If you can't beat them, right? Let's catch up when you get back, Blaine. And, um. Is that it? Yeah, I guess so. Alright. Ooh, somebody smoked some cigarettes. Looks like somebody's checkbook or something? I don't know. Samuels? And that one doesn't belong to anyone. Oh, it's a shower. Well, we should shower before we get dressed. Alright, cool. We showered. Oh, here we go. Ripley. My game's glitch because I think I'm supposed to be able to see my body. Oh well. I'm invisible, I guess. And, whoa, this is really sensitive. Wow, okay. Yeah, I, I tested this game out earlier just to make sure it worked, and I had a little problem with the microphone, so... Hopefully that's all sorted out, and I don't have to worry about... You know, pretty much my audio cutting in and out. My astronaut suits. This part of the ship makes a weird noise. My game is stuttering a bit. Hold on a second. All right, that that should work out. But I turned down a few things, like the shadows and stuff. Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. 
I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo? Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Alright, we haven't met this Taylor yet. So, and she's a woman, because they've been saying her and she. I mean, unless the future has caught up with the pronouns of today, then um, we'll see who uh, who Taylor is. But it's still stuttering just a little bit. This game is very demanding. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Wayland Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. Realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Yeah, I, I just spoke to him. Kepler, huh? All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. Okay, so... The Nostromo incident to N. Tyler, or Taylor, yeah, not Tyler, Taylor. Okay, Nostromo incident, Wailing yutani file, blah, blah, blah. Hey, Taylor, I got your, your case request. It may take me a while to dig out the files and the incident happened before my time at the company. So I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. Well, and 2122, well, a century from now. The Wailing Yutani cargo vessel, the USCSS Nostromo, went missing. No trace was found of its cargo or crew, apart from a new science officer. The rest of the crew had worked together before, seven and all. Dallas's captain, Ash's science officer, Kane, or is it Kane, the first one with a K, is the executive officer. Ripley is the warrant officer, which is our mom, a.k.a. Sergoni Weaver. Lambert, navigation officer, Parker, the chief engineer, and Brett, the uh, engineer technician. William Yutani lost a lot of money from it. Um, it's bit of a it, it's a bit of a black mark in the history. Get the impression they don't like to mention it. Anyways, I'll try and find the files later, clarify some of the points, and if you want, I can help you go through them. Maybe some of your luck will rub off on me. I hear upstairs have an eye for you, or on you for something big, Sal. All right, and then we go to the shared folder. Yeah, okay. The, the controls for the terminal are weird. Alrighty. So this is a Torrens. It's an M-class ship. Uh, Diane Valerie or Diane Verlaine, sorry, is the captain. Then we got um. William Connor as a navigational and communications officer. Uh, Verlaine also owns the ship. It's contracted by you, Wailing Yutani. Outbo uh, outbound and return transport for you, Wailing Yutani retrieval team to Sevastopol Station. Team consists of three Wailing Yutani employees Samuel C., Ripley A., and Tyler N. Um, passenger Samuel Christopher Ripley. Amanda, Taylor, and Nina. Number of decks, two. Number of crew, two. Interstellar communications antenna. Long haul hypersleep chamber. Uh, commercial passenger cargo ship retrofitted from a tow rig. Retains operational heavy duty tow umbilical. The last part sounded like um, a Craigslist ad. Shit. Uh, how do I get out of here? Middle mouse button. Okay. Cool. All right, so uh, the only place I haven't gone is here. 
Oh, there's the bridge. Had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comm so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. I don't have my briefing documents. Where do I get a briefing document? What's that? Ooh. Okay. Okay, cool. There's a planet out there. So, there's only two people operating this ship from the manifest, and there's a there's a lot of uh. I remember this room from the movie. I don't remember what that movie's. I mean, for what that room's purpose was for. Um. What, there it is. Okay. That was the last thing I checked in the in the room was that table. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel, Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Marshal, this is the Torrent. Say again. The station's comm seemed pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrents in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Yeah, all the character models are just covered in sweat Stand by. at all times. The contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option, and it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Depressurizing. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shadow me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. I'll be so nervous to do this. Getting lost adrift in space Fuck, is terrifying. Me. It's terrifying. My God, Ripley. You're doing good, Tim. <laughs> Just keep moving. <laughs> Yeah, so if you were to basically get lost in space, you know, if she didn't grab onto that cord, she could have just flown forever because your momentum doesn't stop in space until something stops you by you crashing into anything. Ouch. That has to hurt. But yeah, like, 
you would just be drifting forever and then you'll just dehydrate you run out of oxygen and no one will be coming for you it would just be you alone with your thoughts Okay, the door opened. Alrighty, I, I, I can't... I, I can't leave. Alrighty. I guess I had to turn in my spacesuit, which makes sense. I can't imagine trying to run away from the alien in this thing. Alright. So, let's go. I'm not gonna lie, this game still looks really good. It came out in 2014, I believe. All right, I'm going to save, and then I'm going to basically check something out just to make sure that the microphone is not chopping out again. And um, I'm also gonna restart so like that my body can appear because this game has full body awareness, and for some reason it's not appearing. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So um, yeah, so the mic is is working, and um. So there's my body. I figured out what the problem was. So if you turned up your FOB or your field of view, your um, <laughs> so as I was saying, if you turn off your 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 field of view, your uh, your body disappears. And for the sake of uh, immersion, oh, we're back in the same room. That a blasting cap, and for the uh, the sake of immersion, I want to see my body. It's unfortunate we didn't get to uh, see Ripley, you know, in her underwear for like the first few uh, minutes of the game. But oh well, it, it's it's a feature I'm willing to sacrifice, you know, for the sake of the playthrough. All right. Most. You burn my eyebrows off, why don't you? So I vaguely remember some parts of this game. Like, I think I remember the part where the alien gets, um, like, I think the first time he actually becomes a threat. Man, this place is loud. What's this scrap? So before we touch that terminal, I wanted to, I wanted to go to the employee lounge, but unfortunately that's closed. So let's read this terminal. Uh, file corrupted, decommissioning. Let's read that one. All right, to the engineering team. Uh, so decommissioning. So boys and girls, you've probably heard the whispers about Sevastopol by now, and I can confirm it's official. Sevastopol is being decommissioned. I will go over with each with each of you what this means in regards of your contracts and next placement. But for now, we have a job to do. The suits want this done with a skeleton crew, which means we have only be getting a few outside contractors to help. But... It does mean overtime. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. Um, I should point out that decommission does not mean lucky dip. Everything here has to be accounted for, and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to martial weights. All right, and then the other ones, yeah, they're all corrupted, so I can't read those. Whoa. Really? I lost health because of a scripted event. Well, I don't think I've ever seen that in a game where you can get hurt in a cutscene. You know, that's not like a uh, a quick time event. Yeah, I picked up a flare, but I don't want to use it. Alright, let's go down. 
All right, they want me to do this. Okay. Someone new, you always know a working Joe. Scavengers will be shot. All right, well, let's not let's be careful scavenging then. I don't want to get shot. All right, let's go. I think this is baggage claim. There's a lot of luggage. And it's oh, a sensor. Um, where do I go now? Can I interact with this? Oh, I can. Cool. Convenient ramp. ACJ injector. These, this game has a crafting mechanic. That's what I remember. So a lot of the stuff, man, the mouse is super sensitive. Whenever I'm interacting with something, the mouse gets super sensitive. Compound B. So there's a crafting uh, yeah, mechanic. So I think I got to find blueprints. I don't want to listen to that. That banjo music. Ooh. Hello? Anyone here? I don't think anyone's going to hear you, you know, whispering under your breath like that. Ooh, this is Sylvester Pole Station, right? We're in here. I kind of like the design. It kind of looks like three skyscrapers, you know, together. That is pretty cool. It's a shame it's getting decommissioned. Forgotten. F you. Oh, yes. The voice of the people. Looters will... Will uh, looters keep out? To, to, uh, tomorrow together equals no future. Help. Welcome to the end of the line. Use these terminals to update your map with unexplored areas. Oh, yeah. I got a map. All right. It doesn't tell me where I need to go though. Okay, well, oof. So I, uh, my frame rate there took a hit. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't think I need to save. I literally just saved like a few rooms ago. Oh, okay. I see the lights on the bottom. On the bottom right, uh, they change color. All right, I turned on auto lights. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff to read here. Okay, moved our stash. Uh, leg, uh, Lagley, yeah, Lagley. If you're looking for our stash, I've moved it. You left it right out in the open where anyone could have taken it. Jesus, do you know what I had to do to get it? I've ha I've hidden it in one of the storerooms. You should be able to find it. The code is zero three four zero. Don't worry, no one goes down to the terminal anymore. Not after what happened. Wonder what happened at the terminal. Also, we're out of meds and low on water. So you're going to need to get some, it's your turn. Maybe it'll teach you to take care of your stuff in the future. Anna, you tell him, Anna. All right, goodbye from Sigsman. Public notice, the decommissioning of Sylvester Post Station. We've had a long journey together, but sadly, it's coming to an end. Sigsman Corp would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who've worked and lived at Sylvester Pole over the years in the hopes that Sigsman has helped to make it a productive and rewarding environment. Our investment in behalf in the station, or belief in the station, was never wavered. Uh, be assured that Sigsman's Apollo Central AI and Working Joe androids will be there to serve Sylvester Pole until the last rivet is removed. We wish you all the very best for the future. After all, Sylvester Pole isn't just a station, it's people. What a bullshit corporate response. Harris, Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're gonna need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. Wait up. I like that. I like the fact that there's a counter that's on the side that lets me know, um, you know, how long the video is gonna take. I'll restore power to departures. Okay. So now we're restoring power. I'm going, I'm going. 
I'm coming, guys. I'm coming. Wait for me. God damn it. They left without me. Oh, well. Oh. There's a keypad on this thing. Is this the uh, door that had the... Um... Whoa, god dang. It's super sensitive. Um, it was 4-0. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so where's that stash? We got some scrap. Ooh. We got our first blueprint, everybody. And that's medkit version 1. More scrap. Is there anything else? Alright, so... Let's try this. Uh, okay, I gotta hold it. So, boom, boom, boom. And then click here. Perfect. Can I make another one? I don't have... But I can commit. I can commit the components. I, yeah. So, I can commit the components until we find what we need. Oh, okay. So, we, we can loot this. And it has a little green light. So far, the opening of this game, well, not, it's a little bit slower pace, but so far, this kind of reminds me of, uh, of Dead Space. You know, going to an, you know, a, sh a ship or, or whatever that basically is a, well, in this case, it's a station. Um, so I'm get, I'm guessing I get hurt by that. Compound B scrap. Man, this game is. Happened here? This game is really good looking for, like I said, for twenty. Well, I mean, twenty fourteen is not that long ago. Cool. No entry. What a light red. I need an ion torch. I don't have one of those. What is this now? Zing Zhang. Oh, it's a Chinese place. I can, man, I can do for some uh, space uh, fried rice. I mean, regular fried rice would be good too. Baggage claim. We just came from there, and plus that place is is locked. What's this now? Ion torch. Well, it's just in the stromo right there on the on the screen. So is that where the flight thing is? Strangers will be shot. Well, I'm a stranger. I'm a stranger. I'm a scavenger and a looter. Oh, what's that? Is that our ship? It is. I can't click on that terminal. Who's, who's closing the shutters? I don't know if that was automated or someone did that because they don't want to ship you know, to, to get people out here. You always know a working Joe. Eventually we'll meet those working Joe guys. And those guys are really bad. Not only are they like really bad like in their motives, but they're just not fun to be around with. I remember that they were terrifying. And if you don't know anything about this game, then you're in for a wild ride because this is going to probably be, this is definitely going to be a lot scarier than Dead Space. I mean, Dead Space, you know, it got me a few times, but that game was all about the atmosphere, but it was mostly action. What is this? This is arcade game called Run Around Rex, and I can't access it. All of these are all sealed away, and this one, also another one, another Runaway Rex machine. Oh, this door is open now. It was closed when we came down. 
Hello? I heard a noise in here. Oh. Julia Jones, today's update. After numerous demands, Marshall Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. Well, if they're trying to explain what's going on, you shouldn't be throwing rocks at them. Just saying. I wouldn't want to listen to anyone. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't basically want to explain myself to anyone if they're throwing rocks at me either. I'll just leave. All right, uh, pulling the plug. Zoe, I'm sorry, but I won't need you to come in next week. As you know, the store's been in trouble for some time now. And I couldn't hold off the creditors any longer. There's just no one coming to Sevastopol anymore. It's not just us either. It sounds like the whole station is in the red and they're pulling the plug. Gonna sell, gonna sell it off for scrap, I guess. I was speaking to one of the engineers and he reckons they'll announce it soon. I'm telling you this so you don't stick around looking for another job. So rest of post finished. Time to move on. Harper. I wonder how long these people have been living here. How long has this, uh, this station been, com you know, in service? To all space flight employees, what is Apollo? To all space flight terminal employees, in the interest of public safety and the prevention of panic, it must be clear, it must be made clear to all potential customers that there are potentially no scheduled flights leaving Sevastopol, nor ships available. The colonial, the colonial marshals are investigating problems on station and will update accordingly from the office of Marshal Waits. All right, well, I guess that was all in that computer. All right. It's a vent. I noticed that earlier. It just looked out of place. And I was right. It was a vent. And this game has some good sound design. That's one thing Dead Space had too. Dead Space has some phenomenal sound design. Open vent. Climb out. Alrighty, so is this baggage claim? Is this the door that I couldn't? Is that the door I couldn't access before that one? Probably. This whole damn place Probably is. is. Apart. All right. Um, let me open up my crafting menu. There we go. We got some bonding agent. So now we can craft it. And while we're here, we'll commit two more, two more uh, 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 materials. I don't think I can go past all this crap, so do I have to go inside this tunnel? But there's a there's a big robot in front of it. Systems control access for science and technical officers only. Oh, your name is Harold. See? It's right there. Your name is Harold. Oh, I can just move you out of the way. You keep close at all times to be used for mechanical repairs only. Well, it was nice meeting you, Harold. But we have to go. Alright, anything behind here? Jesus, that's loud. All right. So, I wonder, what was that explosion from earlier? Whoa. There was someone standing right there. Okay, there's nothing here. All right, let's go see what 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 this guy was doing. It certainly was a dude. He was just standing here. So what? Did he write this? Someone knew? I think he wrote this and then he freaked out because he saw me. Keep moving. 
Well, he definitely bolted the fuck out of here. I can't, I can't interact with any of this stuff, and there's nothing to pick up. Oh crap! There's a body right here. What's this? Look like a lantern. All right, more baggage. Oh crap! There's a lot of bodies here. Plasma torch. I think we'll come back to this area at some point for the plasma torch. All right. Well, something went down over here. I don't. I don't think it was xenomorph related because usually when a xenomorph comes in, I don't think people stick around. I heard a cat. I heard a cat. I heard a meow. Is that a reference to the first movie? Because the first movie had a cat in the ship. If you played that back before I went there, you'll hear the meow. There's a cat here somewhere. Hopefully I can find it. Probably not. It's probably just a sound and the cat doesn't have a character model. Oh, this opened. I'm hearing a lot of noises. I heard a hiss. It sounded like a... Dude, there's too much noise going on over here. Okay. Alright, what do I need to open this? Another ion torch. There's a dead dude in there. And this is probably gonna be another ion torch, huh? Or plasma or whatever. Okay. I don't have any of the torches. So I can't do anything here. I don't like the sounds this area makes. Alright, let's get out of here. Shooters will pay. Jesus Christ. Fucking monitor exploded. All flights are cancelled. Be the exit up ahead. Yep. I need something called maintenance jack. There was some there, there was one of these in that room over there, so once I find a maintenance jack, I might have to go over there. Fuck the marshals. Anything? No supplies, no components. I wonder how stingy the game's going to be with supplies since I am playing it on hard. All right, let's go in here. Just gibberish. Turner, got to deal with that wasted asshole again. This time he nearly wrecked the door with a maintenance jack. Guess he figures it's safe here. Wants to lock himself in. Screw him. We got too much to worry about without babysitting drunks. Anyway, I threw him in the evidence lockup. Let the son of a bitch sleep it off. Another maintenance jack thing there too. So there's a drunk guy in here. Oh shit! Something didn't. Something pleasant didn't happen in this room. Waits lied to us. So they keep mentioning this guy, Marshall Waits. I wonder if we're gonna meet him at some point. I don't remember if we meet a guy named Waits. Oh shit! There's a body in there. Why do you? I wonder why you didn't react. Oh, that's a pretty gnarly controller. Nice. We got two of them, so now we can play two players. I wonder why she didn't react that way to. Um, oh, a vent. I don't know why she didn't react that way to uh, the body, the first body we saw that was inside that room. Alrighty. You gotta love in video games whenever they have human sized vents. Alright, let's read this recording. Rulo, I wanna make a complaint to the, the highest authority, okay? My name is Zachary Watson. 
That's Watson. You get that? My complaint is this. The fucking marshals. They should be protecting us. It's their job. Something's on this station with us, and no one knows what it is. No one fucking knows. They put braces on the doors. Locked down. You know, like to keep something out. I'm fucking terrified, man. I'm fucking... Shit. It's so cold. I don't think this fucking thing even works. I think he was trying to use one of those torches that we keep I mean, being asked to get because those look like canisters. And he said that it, it wasn't working. All right, well, let's get the maintenance jack from him. I think I need this more than you do. Saw the amount of space roaches that came out of that guy. Or bugs, whatever. All right. So how does this work? All right, so hold both mouse buttons and then press A. Cool. And what, we just throw it on the ground? Yeah, sure, why not? All right, there's one right here, and then there was another one in the other room that we were just at with the scary noises. When I heard a cat. I heard a, like I said, it was a distinct meow. All right, cool. Oh, scrap. I saw scrap. There's scrap. More scrap. And there's a, a, re a voice recorder thing here. Interview subject. Heist. Did I say that right? Heist? Look, if you can't even tell me your name, we're going to be here a hell of a long time. I just want to know about your boss. He's got you all into a lot of trouble. Someone's gonna be accountable. I'm gonna make damn sure someone's accountable. No? Tough guy, huh? Turner, turn off the tape. Maybe our friend here is just shy. I wanted the recording to end before I move forward. Sounds like there's something crawling up in the vents. Alright, so before I interact with that door, I don't want to step on the bodies because that's, that's disrespectful. I know it's just a video game, but still, you know. There it is. Let's get in and out because, like I said, I don't like this place. It sounds like the xenomorphs around. More scrap, a sensor, and ethanol. Um, is there anything else in this room? Is that all I came here for? Yep, that's all I came here for, and I'm leaving. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't, if you notice, when I play horror games, I don't like areas that make scary noises. Because sometimes sound is scarier than what you see. There's music playing. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Reverse, this is Turner. I found the last power coupling. Took me a while, but it's off now. Just getting the last security brace. Come find me when you've shut yours down, then we can get the hell out of here. Jesus, man, I'm hearing noises everywhere. Every creak and... Just hurry the fuck up, will you? I've been hearing noises too, man. It's not just you. Oh, shit, are we getting a cutscene? <sighs> Stay still. Okay. Okay. Now, turn around. Come on! Ripley. Where'd you come from? Ripley. Off station. 
A ship. There's no ships here. There are now. Well, <laughs> that's good news. Because things are not so good here. Something blue just now. Rocked this whole place. I saw it. But lady, that's the least of our problems. Yeah? Yeah. Something's on this station. Something you wouldn't believe. Like what? A killer. You get it? Okay. Okay. What's your name? Axel. I was boarding with two colleagues. EVA. We got separated by the blast. Can you help me find them? Why? Because you seem to know your way around. No, I mean, why? What's in it for me? A place on the ship. How did I know I can trust you? I need to find comms. I need to contact my ship. This is your lucky day. Cool. Let's go, sweetheart. Seeks and comms is in the Sistex Bayer. It's quite a distance, but we can get to a transit through the freight area. Watch okay, yourself. well, we got... We can get into all sorts of trouble there. Okay? Yes, we can. And okay, so we'll be careful. Well, at least we got a friend now. We're not is just alone. following me back there? Had to keep my distance. Can't take any chances. Yeah, he was definitely the guy that was just standing in the corner there, and he ran off when I noticed him. Inquisitive type, eh? Yeah. For sure. Is there anything else? Why are these rooms so dark? Oh, there it is. Oh, what was that noise? Stick close to me. Hey, don't move. Oh, oh, okay, okay. We're not looking for trouble. Who are you? I'm John. This is Ringo. You're just some assholes. We haven't got time for this. Come on, Jana. We're trying to get to comms. Can you help us? We don't need their help. Don't tell them anything. Look, I've got the elevator working. Jana, let's go, okay? I... I'm sorry. Good luck. Good luck to you guys, too. Hope you guys made it. What the hell was that about? Why are you so damn aggressive? Everyone's running shit scared. Keeping to their own. Safer that way. You gotta love how when there's a disaster, like in, in movies or in video games, instead of people banding together and help to resolve the solution, everybody just panics, goes crazy, kills each other, and tells everybody to fuck off. I hope this ship of yours is the real McCoy. Yeah. You know, that's pretty much what you want to do as a human race, you know. Just panic, go crazy, and then just basically Hold kill on. everybody. Let me get the elevator. All right, what a gentleman. Allow me. Place is open. Needs a special touch. All righty. Well, what are you waiting for? Hit the button. I got it. Whoa. That's a neat trick you did there, dude. Keep the noise down here. There might be people around. I'd appreciate it if you told me what the hell was going on right now. Listen, Dan. When we get to the ship, we can kick back, raid each other's hair, and chat all you want. Yeah, when we get to my ship, I need to know what's going on right fucking now. Fine. Like I said, there's a killer. A killer? What does that even mean? I ain't seen it, but it's here. Picking us off one by one. What are you saying? A psycho? A person? No, something else. A monster. There's a little white dot on my screen that pops up whenever I look at items. Is that like my crosshair? It just is very distracting because I kept thinking it was a dead pixel. But then I noticed that every time I look at Axel, which I don't even know if that's his real name due to the fact that he said that our name was John and Ringo. That his name was John and I was Ringo whenever we met those two guys uh, that were in the elevator. We need to move. This way. Right now. Get down. Oh. This is bullshit. I gotta hold shift. 
You should be looking for a way off. Are you crazy? There's no way off. At least we're safe down here. For how long? What if they come for us? Then we shoot the crap out of them. Now shut up. You're making me nervous. They're standing right there, shit. Hey, until they left. We can do this. Trouble. We'll have to go random. So what, we go in here? Alrighty, come on. Unlock it. Come on, Axel, move your fat ass. Friends of yours? I've had run-ins with those guys before. They don't like strangers, even nice guys like me. I'm shocked. I me too. Your chain, darling. You want to go and say hello? It's your funeral. Those guns aren't for show. Someone should be doing something. They are. It's called surviving. Come on, dude, just move. <laughs> Turning on each other. The fear, it makes people crazy. I've noticed. You've been living here? What can I say? My butler's on holiday. Grab what you need. We don't know when you'll get another chance. Okay. He didn't have that much stuff in that room. Hopefully you have more stuff in this room, like a flare. For a week now, waiting for a ship. Waiting for you, I guess. Batteries for a flashlight? Where's the flashlight? It can get pretty dark around here. You should take that flashlight over there. Where's the flashlight? Make sure you're stocked up on batteries. What sensor? Oh, the flashlight's right there. Okay, give me one second. Oh, I can't do anything else. Come on. Alright, I got it. I got the flashlight, even though it looks like a, a headset. Be careful not to flash it around. We don't want to get caught. Let's go. Okay. Can I turn this off? Thank you. I, I could have sworn I turned it off, but whatever. I really hope that's not a glitch. Be I hope that does not, that's not a glitch that happens while I'm playing. Why? Because I don't want to alert unwanted attention. Now? I'll watch the vent. There's another vent right here somewhere. I'm out so I wouldn't forget it. Okay. How about you look around? You're not going anywhere until you find that vent. Why do I have to find the vent that you freaking marked? There was something on my screen that said to pick it up. Or am I going crazy? I guess I'm going crazy. Just like everybody else here. What the hell are you doing standing there, you weirdo? That's not the vent. Oh, what's this? More batteries for my flashlight. Oh, there it is. Yep. Excellent. That's definitely a Hold on. I'm coming. That's definitely a marked uh, vent. Man, this guy's taking a sweet ass time. All right, I don't want to waste any. I just I used up already one bar of battery. It was here somewhere. See? Got it covered. How do you forget something that's like literally across the room? Come on. I'm glad that the crowd just toggle and not hold. Hey, come on, dude. Let's go. Hello. It's come not on. Smart to stay here too long. Oh, I'm waiting for your dumbass to move. You keep just standing there in front of me, just looking at me. I mean, am I like this the first female travels around here? You just ever seen? That want to stay alive, sweetheart. Torrens, so that's your ship, huh? Mm hmm. Hurry up, man. I'm, I'm tired of staring at your ass. I hear something. And your gun is clipping. Yeah, I hear you. Will do. Gotta go meet the others. Something's going down. There's always something going down. Come on. We don't want to piss him off. Follow me. Up. You okay? But well, dude, they're right there. Oh, 
they're not they were right there they just basically they either teleported disappeared or basically you know just decided to fucking run okay go right here don't shine that flashlight don't worry it's off What's the I am being quiet. Someone else has been here. Everyone, stay alert. Keep your guns tight. Shoot anyone you don't know. Stick around while I check our stock. They're armed. Too many of them to take on. <laughs> take on? We still got to get through there. The door at the end. How? Let's try a distraction. The generator. If that went down, they'd have to check it out. You're smaller than me. You'll make less noise. Of course. Great. Alright, so they're all just hanging out there. Last. Hide it. What's up? You decide to help yourself a little? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hey, he's been with me the whole time. We're missing food, ammo, meds. If it's not one of us, then we were right. Someone's been in here. This is no good. We're supposed to be secure down here. What about the lockjaw rigged up? I'm just come from there. A sealed pipe. Eyes open. Keep your guns ready. Someone's gonna have to tell the boss. Boss? He's a goddamn store clerk. Yeah? Maybe you think you could do better. He's not saying that. I'm just saying that. Just stop saying. And help me check the rest of this stuff. That is, if you could keep your trap from running for five seconds. Alright. Are you guys done talking? All right, let's turn off this generator. And there's a vent right on the floor next to me. What the fuck just happened? Generator's done. Is this turned itself off? No, somebody's here. Check it out. Everyone with me. Okay. I can't see them, but I was listening to their footsteps. I think they're gone. Who's there? Cup doesn't seem to be broken. How would you know, Einstein? If the generator nice is blown, right there'd there. be smoke. This way. Well, it's not working now. Follow me. Maybe the safety got tripped. Give me a second. Could have been a rodent. Got stuck in it. Set off the safety. A rat. Big fucking rat to do that. Well, I don't know. Someone is fucking with us. Probably the same person who stole our stuff. That's a scary thought. That's why we've got guns. Come on. Help me find the switch to get it started again. Alrighty. They're they're busy. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. How much further? Nearly there. Transit's just up ahead. Let's just hope your ship's still there. Sevastopol, not quite what you're expecting, eh? Nope. I'm not even supposed to be here. My shipping out papers were for a week ago. Damn, dude, you're really scared. You saw how badly he was shaking? I mean, it was pretty scary. We just ran away from some people with guns. A blind eye. S. I managed to get my hands on that stuff I was talking about. Chief won't even notice the stock missing. So somebody was uh, stealing stuff. Things always get lost when a station's closing down. Don't worry about customs either. Sinclair told his men to turn a blind eye and they'll probably be too busy goofing off or taking backhanders uh, to notice anyways. You get what you pay for, I guess. Bailey. Um, and then you got the two two man rule. Uh, Nearson Leonard. You're both first shift on the door, so please read carefully. Um... Putting this together wasn't easy, and we don't want intruders getting in because you didn't read instructions properly. This here is what you call a two-man rule lock. This means it needs two to open the door simultaneously from different, from two different consoles. Most of us don't even know each other, um, so this is the safest way to of making sure everything stays secure, and none of us decide to head off on their own with our stuff. When you're on shift. It, 
take it in turns to keep guard and notify the other if one of us needs to be let in or out this means just us no one else no matter how much anyone begs no matter what soft story they try and pull um, I was with a group before we got soft and now I'm the only one left trust no one Joe is he a working Joe I mean did he have a job here inventory no one is to take anything or mark it off without ask without talking to me first so we got four they got four aspirins 32 cans of food six boxes of cereal four gallons of water 12 tubes of toothpaste three cartons of cigarettes 26 rolls of toilet paper six rolls of industrial tape two med kits and uh 52 cases bags whatever of powder milk Running low on ammunition, Zoe managed to pick up some prescription drugs all addressed to the same person. Guess they don't need them anymore. God dang, I pre I keep wanting to press escape to, you know, to leave the terminal. But yeah, it sounds like whoever they got that prescription drugs from is dead. Alright, are you gonna... Excuse me, Axel. So it's just a two-man thing to open this door, I guess? It's powered down. The assholes have cut us off. Got it. We need to activate both consoles at the same time to open it. I'll do this one. You go to the one on the other side. Okay. No problem. I read the instructions, so... If I was working here on shift, I'd be a good employee. Ready. Hit two men's on switch. Three. One, two, three. Oh, E. Axel, behind you. What? Uh oh. Fuck you! Get here now! I've got the thieving son of a bitch! You bums think you can take what you want? Get the fuck off me! Come on, I wanna hit him! Jesus, it wasn't working. Where's the blood? Let's go. The others are on their way. We need to go! No! Hey, you bastard! Move it! Run! Shoot him! No, don't shoot! They killed him! Run! Axel, run! Oh, Come cut on. scene. You killed that guy! Because he was going to kill me, you saved my life! This is about survival! Do you understand? I hear something. I hear something. Axel? What have I got on me? Uh oh. Well, let's get out of here then. Because those guys with the guns, they're not that far away from us. And Axel just got fucking murdered. Gotta keep moving. There's a green switch over there. Oh man, I hope it doesn't come out here now. This thing is loud. It can come out of there. It can also come out of there. This thing needs to hurry up. Um, come on. This is making me feel so uneasy. Come on. Open up. Oh, cool. We made it. We made it. Well, at least... Sorry, Axel. But we needed to get rid of him anyways because... Dude was freaking slow, dude. And then plus, he was getting the jitters... His animation was breaking. 
freaking kept slowing me down on all the vents just so I could stare at his ass. All right, so if we find any, if we find any ex survivors, the loading screen said not to mess with them, and they won't mess with us. All right, which door is going to open? Is it this one, or is it going to be this one? Oh, I picked the right door. Station Perfect. Seven, communication technologies, tech support services, and Gemini Exoplanet Solutions. Cup of Joes. Have you got the Cup of Joes smile? There's lockers here. Caution. Observe moving trains at all times. Want to join the Colonial Marshals? Help us make our corner of the galaxy a safer place to live, work, and travel. I don't want to be part of the Marshals. People seem to hate you guys. What's this? Re access re we rewire. Uh, use rewire to toggle systems on and off in your surrounding area. Systems share a limited power supply. Switching systems off will provide the power to switch on to switch others on. Study the map on the right hand screen and with mouse, check the position of systems. Access new area, cre uh, create diversions, and experiment with Sylvester's post station systems. Um. I don't want to mess with this right now. All right, so we can we can manipulate our environment for distractions and stuff. That's pretty cool. Oh, look, it's Harold. Help Harold keeps the best port clean. Extremely sorry for the current disruption in services. That child looks terrifying. Harold is a uh, Harold is Sylvester Post automated trash collector robot. If you see him, please get uh get uh step out of his way. So he can keep uh, so he can keep Sylvester Paul clean for everyone. Thank you. All right. So we see Harold. We have to move out of his way. That's a rule for this playthrough. If we see him, move out of his way. Sigsman tomorrow together. That's what the Working Joe is. You always know Working Joe. The Working Joe synthetics we build at Sigsman are designed to look and act like synthetics. You can work without anxiety, knowing exactly who and what your coworkers are. Okay. So that's broken. All right, guys, there's a safe station right here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to leave it here, and um, hopefully this is a good first episode. I know not a lot has happened yet, but this game is a slow burn. But believe me, if you've never seen Alien Isolation before, um, it gets pretty wild. It does. And um, I don't remember much of this game. I remember bits and pieces. I just remember scary robots. And, uh, and a scary alien. But other than that, guys, um, if you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, it really does help me, um, motivate me to make these videos for you guys. And get the algorithm in place so more people can watch. And um, as always, uh, see you next time. Bye.